Welcome to today's video where we're discussing supply chain management, key performance indicators, or KPIs. These are the KPIs we are going to discuss in details. Let's break it down. 1. Order Fulfillment Cycle Time Definition This KPI measures the total time taken from when a customer places an order until the order is delivered. It is a critical indicator of the efficiency of the entire supply chain process. Importance, a shorter order fulfillment cycle time leads to higher customer satisfaction, as it ensures quick delivery of products. It also reflects the efficiency of inventory management, production scheduling, and logistics. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company receives an order on August 1st and delivers it on August 7th, the order fulfillment cycle time is 6 days. Reducing this time could involve optimizing production schedules, improving coordination with suppliers, or enhancing transportation logistics. 2. Inventory Turnover Definition Inventory turnover measures how many times a company's inventory is sold and replaced over a specific period. It is an indicator of inventory management efficiency. Importance High inventory turnover rates suggest efficient inventory management, with less capital tied up in stock. It also reduces the risk of obsolescence and carrying costs. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company's COGS is $500,000 and its average inventory is $100,000, the inventory turnover ratio is 5. This means the inventory is cycled through 5 times during the period. Strategies to improve turnover might include demand forecasting, just-in-time, JIT, inventory practices, or better supplier collaboration. 3. On-time delivery, OTD. Definition, on-time delivery measures the percentage of orders delivered on or before the promised delivery date. Importance, OTD is a critical KPI for assessing the reliability and performance of the supply chain. High OTD rates lead to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company delivers 950 out of 1,000 orders on time, its OTD rate is 95%. Improving OTD may require better demand forecasting, enhanced supplier coordination, or more efficient logistics operations. 4. Perfect Order Rate Definition The perfect order rate measures the percentage of orders that are error-free. A perfect order is delivered on time, complete, undamaged, and with the correct documentation. Importance this KPI is a comprehensive measure of supply chain performance, encompassing multiple aspects such as delivery accuracy, product quality, and customer service. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company processes 1,000 orders and 900 of them are perfect, on time, complete, undamaged, and with the correct paperwork, the perfect order rate is 90%. Improvements could involve streamlining order processing, enhancing quality control, and better training for logistics staff. 5. Supply Chain Cost Definition This KPI measures the total cost associated with the supply chain, including procurement, manufacturing, warehousing, and transportation. Importance Supply chain cost is a direct indicator of the efficiency of supply chain operations. Lower costs generally translate to higher profitability. Calculation As follows Other Costs Quality Control Costs Returns and refunds. Lost sales due to stockouts. Environmental costs. Social responsibility costs. 6. Cash to cash cycle time. Definition Cash to cash cycle time measures the time it takes for a company to convert its investment in inventory into cash from sales. It spans from the time cash is spent on raw materials to the time it is recovered from customer payments. Importance this KPI is critical for managing working capital and liquidity. Shorter cash-to-cash -cash cycles improve cash flow and reduce the need for external financing. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company has 30 days of inventory outstanding, 20 days of sales outstanding, and 15 days of payable outstanding, the cash-to-cash -cash cycle time is 35 days. To improve this, the company could focus on reducing inventory levels, speeding up receivables, or extending payment terms with suppliers. 7. Supplier Lead Time Definition Supplier lead time measures the time it takes for a supplier to fulfill an order from the moment it is placed. Importance 
shorter lead times enable faster response to market demands and reduce the need for high inventory levels. It also enhances agility and flexibility in the supply chain. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a supplier takes 10 days to deliver an order after it is placed, the supplier lead time is 10 days. To reduce lead time, companies might negotiate with suppliers for faster processing or establish closer, more collaborative relationships. 8. Return on Supply Chain Fixed Assets ROA. Definition ROA measures the financial performance of the supply chain by comparing the net income generated from supply chain activities to the fixed assets used. Importance This KPI helps evaluate the efficiency of the supply chain in generating profit from its fixed assets, such as warehouses, equipment, and vehicles. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company's supply chain generates $500,000 in net income and has $5 million in fixed assets, the ROA is 10%. Increasing ROA might involve better utilization of assets, reducing downtime, or investing in more efficient technologies. 9. On Time in Full, OTF Definition, On Time in Full, OTF, measures the percentage of orders delivered on time and in full, meaning the customer received the correct products, in the correct quantity, by the promised delivery date. Importance, OTIF is a comprehensive measure of delivery performance. It reflects the supply chain's ability to meet customer expectations, combining both timeliness and accuracy. Calculation, as follows. Example, if 850 out of 1000 orders are delivered both on time and in full, the OTF rate is 85%. 10. Fill Rate Definition, fill rate measures the percentage of customer orders that are fulfilled on the first shipment. This KPI indicates how well a company can meet customer demand from its available inventory. Importance, a high fill rate suggests that a company effectively manages its inventory levels to meet customer demand, reducing the need for backorders or multiple shipments. Calculation, as follows. Example, if a company fulfills 950 out of 1,000 orders quantity on the first shipment, the fill rate is 95%. That's a wrap on today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into supply chain management. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.